check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks down in the description below. When this movie first came out, back in 2019, I didn't have this channel. Well, at least I wasn't working on it. I've had this channel since 2018, but I didn't do anything with it until 2020 during the lockdown. I started working on it because like everyone else, I didn't have anything else to do. But I'm a big fan of this movie for a lot of reasons. One of them being that when it came out in 2019, it dropped on October 4th, which is my birthday. So yeah, I went to the theater to go watch it that same Friday. Liked it a whole lot. It was real good. And one more thing I want to say is that would you consider this movie to be a Halloween movie? Some say yes, some say no. I go with yes. That's why it was dropped on October in 2019. Alright. Let's check it out. And there he is. They say uh, a garbage strike. That was real. I read about that. There was a garbage strike around that time. Could you imagine, man? In a big city like that? Even in a small town, a garbage strike. All the garbage piling up everywhere. Oh, I can see that. Seeing garbage and rats. In my um, dog day afternoon reaction, I said it, man. I mean it right now, too. There was nothing as ghetto. I mean... America will never be as ghetto as in the 1970s and the 80s. Especially uh, New York, man. It was really bad. They had a crazy high murder rate. Crime rate. Yeah, and today's October 4th, by the way. So it would only be right. It's alright, Joker. It's alright. Fucking asshole. See, people want to talk trash about the internet. But you don't see the good side to it, too. All these video games, all this online playing stuff. It keeps kids at home. Which is kind of good and kind of bad. But good if it stops them from doing shit like this. Oh, man. That's life. For some people. I was taking an ass whooping. Joker. <laughs> so who did the very best Joker? I still go with Jack Nicholson, but... Joaquin Phoenix killed it, man. And of course, uh... The Dark Knight Joker. I read, um... That laughing disorder is real. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Hey, Amen to that. Wow, that book makes him look even more crazier. Or that journal. Look at that. I just hope my death makes more sense than my life. <laughs> he spells sense like in money. There's a thing, a brand new thing now called uh, Red Flag Movies. Where if someone that you're dating or whatever likes certain types of movies, it's a red flag. Watch out. And this is a big one. So, I guess it's a red flag. <laughs> I've seen guys like that in jail. We call them J-Cats. That's category J. I don't know what that J stands That's for, but... It means they're fucking nutcases. And when they put him in a bus with us to go to court, they put him in an uh, isolated cage. No, I, so oh, I like this part. 
The mom is like, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. See, he just wants to make kids laugh, man. Please stop bothering my kid. Look at that. Don't let bother. Just stop. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> There it is. It says kindly return, and she never gave him the card back. Right here, this part. There's a conspiracy theory, sort of a film theory, whatever the hell you want to call it. That that right there, he's actually hallucinating. Cause in that scene, if you look, there's no more kid. There's no more little boy. So something's going on right there, man. And there's a bunch of stuff like that throughout this movie. Cause I. I, I went deep with this movie. I went like in a rabbit hole. Like some say later on in the movie that uh, when he goes inside the refrigerator, he actually dies in that fridge. Because them old school fridge, oh, fridge, what the fuck? Them old school refrigerators, uh, once you were in, you got, I think there's no way out. Something like that. So I don't know. That right there, them steps, right in the heart of South Bronx, straight hood. Look at all the garbage on the sides. Flesh, I mean flick. Oh my God, super rats. He lost a whole lot of weight for this movie. This is like when I used to watch Arsenio Hall. Uh, this movie was inspired by two movies heavily inspired one of them is uh, the taxi driver and another one is called the, I think the comedy king or the king of comedy or something like that it stars uh, him right here Robert De Niro and it's almost exactly like, the, like the, the plot to this movie he has hallucinations and all kind of stuff check it out man it's pretty good man he just wishes that was true what's your name? She says I was put here to spread joy and laughter. <laughs> you see all this, the lights, the show, the audience, all that stuff. I'd give it all up in a heartbeat to have a kid like you. Aww. Jesus. Damn, he's bony. Like, even this part right here, where he gets the gun, it might be a hallucination. Do you people call it miniature golf, or is it just golf to you? <laughs> I like this part. He's pretending to laugh. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I like you, Arthur. You know, a lot of the guys they think you're a freak, but I like you. Oh. I don't even know why I like you. Listen, I'm trying to help you. See, that's the kind of guy that goes back and starts okay. shooting everybody up. The other guys. Look at that. Don't do it. Oh, man. Hey, what's your name? Arthur. <laughs> hey, Arthur. You're a really good dancer. Him. He's watching her. Watch out who you're friendly to. And my wife is here in the intro to Western Sith. Can't use my Is he stealing jokes? They don't hire. Oh, he's taking notes. As far as stage presence. Oh, hey. Hey. Are you following me today? Yeah, you was. I was hoping you'd come in and rob the place. Oh, no, you're dreaming. I come by tomorrow. Uh, do you stand up comedy? You should maybe come see a show sometime. <laughs> that would be awkward as hell. <laughs> You gotta get personal when you do stand up. Any kind of writing. Fucking writers are crazy. <laughs> he dropped the gun right here. I love it. Oh! <laughs> He's like, shh, don't tell nobody. I Even though there's like 20 witnesses. I mean, you're fired. 
Oh man. Ooh, old school New York subway. Full of graffiti, man. Oh shit. The yuppie douchebags. Oh no. So what do y'all think? Is it worse to be born crazy or made crazy? Arthur right here is very rare. His character in the movie at least. Um, he's both. Send in the clown. <laughs> Send in the clown. I first heard that song on a Krusty the Clown. He sang that in an episode. Yeah, good makeup, but it didn't come off when he got hit. You notice Arthur could take an ass whooping? Yeah, there you go. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Probably got him in the ass right there. Damn, Arthur's a killer. Straight murderer. You should have been like a uh, boy in the hood. Turn your punk ass off. Right here is where he transforms. That's when you cross the line, man. Ain't no going back. You don't take a life. And he knows it. Full disclosure. Every once in a while, I get a... Um, these anxiety attacks or panic attacks and it started when I was 10 years old right and um, what happened is that for no reason I mean no reason well the reason is behind in your head somewhere like in your subconscious but consciously you don't know why but you know Everything starts moving really fast. Every every sight, every sound you, you, you hear is coming in a little too fast. It's like when you press fast forward on something and, you, and the audio goes like a, like real fast like a chick monk. You know, then when it first happened when I was like 10 years old, um, I got scared as hell. So I ran back home because I was on my way to the store. It was a nice day, nothing, and I'm 10 years old, man. You know, what kind of problem could you have at 10? So, uh, I run back home, like, panicking, like, what the fuck is going on? What's wrong with me? So I go into the bathroom. I, I, I sit down on the toilet. I'm not taking a shit or anything. I'm just sitting down on the fucking toilet. And I'm trying to think slowly and move slowly. Sort of like what he's doing right here. That way my, my, my brain could uh, readjust, you know? And then it worked. Yeah, I know. And even now, I listen to uh, a lot of slow down music. And it f helps. Oh yeah, now he got balls. He's gonna go for it. He's so hallucinating. Oh, and by the way, I was actually this guy for Halloween in, uh, in 2019. I almost forgot. I forgot to punch out. That's how you quit a job or get fired from a job. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> His own son's gonna do that. Oh shit! Here we go. The system for you. You don't listen to you. You just ask the same questions every week. Yeah. What's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. And people are starting. Notice. Whoa. 
shit. They've cut our funding. Yeah, this part is real as hell. Again, full disclosure. I see a therapist, or used to see a therapist, to this COVID shit hit. And things got all fucked up. But, um... Yeah, man, this is like... It's like, uh... No. What is it? $100 an hour to kind of psychiatrist, therapist? These other ones, man, it's, it's not their fault. I guess they have, a, like, a large, uh load of of uh, patients or whatever it's like a uh, very factory like they're not hearing you not really I'm sorry they're not listening they're definitely hearing you but they're not listening and at the end of it they give you these pamphlets and all this shit and these these uh methods that you can use to you know better yourself but like a, you know hu human beings everyone's different so you should take it on a, a case by case basis but nah they don't work that way in reality you know and I ain't paying no fucking no way I'm paying nobody no hundred dollars an hour just to bullshit all you need really it's that one person to hear you out and give you some real advice, you know, some real shit. They don't give a shit about people like you, Arthur. Damn right. They really don't give a shit about people like me either. That's right. <laughs> uh, don't do okay. it. Please help me welcome Arthur Fleck, y'all. Arthur Fleck. <laughs> That's what he looks like. I think the guy then did it as a hero. No way she didn't say that in real life. What? He loves his mom. And they finally meet. What's your name? Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Don't choke him. Ah, oh, there you go. My mother was delusional. Yeah. She was a sick woman. Don't. Wow. Sick. When you call a crazy person crazy, they're like, don't call me crazy. Well, this gives me a little bit of flashback. Uh, my mom passed away from COVID. You know, I was with her. So I'm like Arthur right there standing next to ambulance people and her getting pushed in the, into the ambulance. I don't know about y'all, but if you ever had a loved one pass away and you had to go through all that, fuck with your head. Forever. You see how you got to be in the ambulance? They wouldn't allow that with me. I guess because of the COVID stuff, you know? This condition of yours, you're laughing. Is it real? Some sort of clown thing. <laughs> like oh, clown. yeah, it's real. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did it, did it open? Aw, oh, man. He wishes he wasn't alone, but he's probably alone in that room. I mean, his girl ain't there, no way. Here's a guy who thinks if you just keep laughing, it'll somehow make you funny. Check out this joke. Oh. <laughs> He's pissed off. Down this way. That's what this whole thing is about. Don't sit. <laughs> The hell is he wearing? Oh, he's a usher. Yeah. In a classy theater back then. Yeah, he like Chaplin, huh? Look, pal, I'm not your father. Well, that's impossible. Because you're adopted, and I never slept with your mother. What do you want from me, money? Oh. I wasn't adopted. Well, yeah, you were. I told you. What is it with you people? You say that stuff to my mother? She's crazy. 
Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Touch my son again. <laughs> right here. Guess what I was talking about. When he goes inside the fridge, maybe he commits suicide. Well, it opened once, so maybe it can open twice. Good old Arkham. So it's Theodore's secret. Oh, it's supposed to be her? <laughs> Allowed her son's abuse. Fuck. He doesn't remember that, though. Your son was found tied to a radiator. It's alright, Arthur. It's alright. Oh, my God. What Whoa. Now, this is not a delusion. You're in the wrong apartment. This is real. Yup, nobody was there. I knew it. Well, I knew it when I first saw it. Would you like to hear a joke? Yeah? Hold you? Okay. <laughs> that motherfucker's tripping. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Damn. I remember when this, uh, this movie came out, right? All the punk ass media were like, oh, there's, there's, there might be shootings all over the place, you know, like, because it's a uh, incel, they call them. You know, the, the guys who are like, in, I forgot what it stands for, but involuntary celibacy, I think. And they're like fucking crazy right and nothing happened nothing happened <clears throat> maybe those kind of guys didn't even go watch this movie because it reminded them of, of themselves a little too much it just hit close to home to them so they were like nah oh, hi guys come on in <laughs> hey guys, come on in. <laughs> God damn. Oh, that's fucking brutal. <laughs> oh, the little guy is tripping. Do you watch Murray Franklin show? Be on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me on TV. Crazy, He's scared as hell. Oh, that's so fucked up. Oh, can you open the door for me, please? <laughs> of course. I'll do that for you. I won't murder you. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's gotta be awkward as hell. He ran out of there. Here we go. Let's go. And the Joker's born. Oh, this part right here is recorded by one of the people living in the fucking apartment. Like what the hell's wrong with this guy? No, I don't believe any of that. I don't believe in anything. I just thought I'd be good man. I don't believe in anything. One small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? That's, <laughs> That's what you called me on the show. He originally wanted to kill himself, but I guess he changes his mind. 
<laughs> I love that fucking intro. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That's right, Mary. I'm not political. I'm not just trying to make people laugh. And I was like, <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that laugh. So, you've been working on any new material? You want to tell us a joke? Oh, tell them the joke. Yeah? Yeah. Knock, knock. And you had to look that up? <laughs> oh, man. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. It's been a rough few weeks, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I killed those three Wall Street guys. Damn. My life is nothing but a comedy. Wow. Quentin Tarantino was on a Joe Rogan's podcast recently, right? And he said exactly what he's kind of what he's talking about right now, right? In the eighties. Which I kind of agree. In the '80s, um, he, well, number one, he didn't like '80s movies. I love them, but he didn't like them. But he said uh, '80s movies, all the characters were likable. In the '70s, when this takes place, they weren't. But it's still rooted for them. In the '80s, they make it, they made it more marketable. You know what I mean? And they brought it back with this one. You root for him. You feel bad for him, man. Like, I mean, you, none of us will do the shit that he does, but you understand his dilemma, his, his, his mental state. They couldn't carry a tune to save their lives. No, they could not. Oh, why is everybody so upset about these guys? If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. Hell I yeah. Every day you don't notice me, but these guys, but because Thomas Wayne, we cried about them on TV. Have you seen what it's like out there, Murray? Not everybody, and I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. There they are. You're awful. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Awesome. oh yeah, how am I off? You just wanted to make fun of me. Damn. Just like the rest of them. There were riots out there. Two policemen are in critical condition. They're <laughs> laughing. He loves it. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of you. Oh, one more, Murray. One medicine. more. When you cross a mentally ill loader with a society that abandons him and treats him like trash, the police, I'll tell you what you're doing. Guilt your fucking deserve. 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 You killed your fucking deserve. You killed your fucking deserve. You killed your fucking deserve. That motherfucker! <laughs> 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 oh, fucking Joker! <laughs> One more time, fuck it. That's life. Isn't it beautiful? Show sure it. Let him loose. So this is how it happens. Some say the whole story takes place right here. All of it was an illusion. That's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> Batman is born. <laughs> I'm trying to catch him. The end. <clears throat> All right, now what do I think of this movie? Off the top, from one to ten, I give this movie a solid twelve. That is the highest score I can give any movie. 
masterpiece, man. You don't get no better than this. Acting, cinematography, editing, sound, score, you name it. I love this fucking movie. I really do. Hey. You see, this movie could have come out in the 70s. Good. 80s, good. 90s, good. Early 2000s, good. You know what I mean? Like, same thing with certain songs that come out. Most of them suck. But once in a while you get a good fucking song, even now, that could have worked in any decade. Same thing with this movie. They got it right. They, f they really got it right. Hopefully they'll keep making more like this. Yeah, so, my opinion, as, a, as far as the best Joker, it's still Jack Nicholson. Now, as far as Heath Ledger, he did a real good Joker, man. Real good. But if you want to talk about uh, staying true to the comic, you got to go with Jack Nicholson. You notice this Joker has long hair, and uh, Heath Ledger's Joker has long hair. The original Joker didn't have long hair. And what they try to do, in my opinion, my humble opinion, they try to uh, capture the energy from the crow. Makeup and long hair. People seem to like that, so they saw it, and they're like, let's work with that. But that ain't the Joker. That ain't the original Joker. Now, he's a legend because he passed away. He got a lot of praise. Believe me, when um, anyone passes away when anybody dies actors or just regular people activists you name it their words and actions have more weight once they're gone you know so that's not fair to Jack Nicholson you know and that ain't fair to Joaquin Phoenix shit it's not even fair to uh, the Suicide Squad Joker um, forgot, a, forgot the guy's name but shit he wasn't that bad either he tried something totally different. He went all the way like, no, I'm not going to be nothing like these other guys. And tried, tried something totally different. It failed. Most people didn't like it, but I respect him for it. So, I still say Jack Nicholson is the best Joker. Um, yeah. Happy October, y'all. Let's have a better Halloween than last year. Salud, and I'll catch you on the next one. Check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks down in the description below.